Here are four tips for building team camaraderie with Slack. Tip number one, create social and interest channels. Build internal groups and communities around what is important to your team. For example, create a channel for people to share pictures of their pets, their kids, or their weekend adventures. Create a channel for interests like sports, movies, or music. Create social channels for posting interesting podcasts, blog posts, or even memes. At Slack, our team has hundreds of social channels, which allows teammates to bond over common interests and get to know each other a little bit better. I'm sure your team has a wide array of backgrounds, experiences, and interests. Foster them by creating these social channels in Slack. Tip number two, use huddles to respect people's times. Respecting your team's limited time at work plays a big role in building team camaraderie. No one wants a calendar full of long meetings that could have easily been an email or even a Slack message. But it's even better when you have huddles to have quick conversations. The average huddle is usually less than 10 minutes, so you don't always need to get into a meeting room in person or schedule a video call. Sometimes a quick audio chat is more than plenty. And if you need to, you can always turn on video, share screens, comment in thread, and more in your huddle. You can use huddles to have social events with everyone in the business, share quick feedback about someone's work, sync up on private business updates, get a pulse check from a new employee on how they're doing. Using huddles means you meet your team where they are, which is huge for strengthening a team's trust. Tip number three, recognize others. A simple but effective way to boost your team culture is to recognize someone who's doing great work. In Slack, you can do this easily and in multiple ways. First, create a kudos or a wins channel to house all of your team's praise in one space. Second, send a message to the entire business about how a fantastic team member did in a meeting. The third, you can record an audio clip which designates how they're really doing great. And last, you can do a video clip. One understated benefit, person who receives these messages is able to go back and really boost their confidence. So don't be shy. You're doing great work and you can do it all within Slack. Tip number four, use and create emojis. Now you know those inside jokes and memories you have with your friends and family. They can help connect you in special ways, bringing you closer together. And you can build a similar bond in your business through emojis in Slack. Every business uses emojis in their own way, but here are some of our favorites. First, the check mark emoji designates when something has been completed. The eyes emoji is for when a person has seen a message and will respond appropriately. The plus emoji is for when someone agrees with the message. And finally, the brain emoji is for, for, for when someone shares a great insight or idea. But your team sets your emoji culture, so lean into it and have fun. And go even deeper with custom emojis. You can create your own emojis when the standard ones don't convey what you're looking for, or you want to commemorate a silly joke or moment in your own way. Choose Customize Slack from the workspace menu in your desktop Slack app. Pick an image to upload and give it a descriptive name. Start using your new emoji, Oliver Slack. In today's teams, emojis play a bigger role than you might think when building culture, and Slack makes it very easy to get started. These four tips can improve how your team works together. Social and interest channels, huddles to respect people's time, sharing praise through clips and custom emojis can seem like small things to try but the impact they have can be big on your business, your team, and you as a Slack user. Learn more about how Slack can help your team learn and grow. Thanks for watching.